night everybody so a bit of a different vlog today i am off for a little photo shoot with fig leaves so i'm off to that and i think it's to celebrate their 21st birthday and they have 21 real people so i'm obviously pregnant so i'll be like promoting the pregnancy side of things and it's in ladbrook, Gro ladbrook grove so i'm just on my way there now um it was a six o'clock start so nice and early for me this morning adam's with pollyanna this morning he's taking her to work with him and then she is going to go to nanny's so I'm due to be here till five, so I'm going to film as much as I can and kind of show you a behind the scenes of a photo shoot. And I haven't done this in, oh, where's my maps? Just checking my maps. I haven't done something like this in so, so long. I, and yeah, so I'm just going to show you as much as I can throughout the day. I'm very excited. So I've got my selection here, which I am going to pop on. I am allowed to say it's for fig leaves. It's for their 21st birthday. So I'm just going to get changed now and yeah. So this is the first look. Um, the high-waisted briefs. And this is the second, but I'm really not keen on this bra. These are lovely. Hair and makeup has been done. I've had my fit in, I've chose my lingerie and um, I say hair and makeup but they didn't touch my hair because it was okay, which is nice. And then waiting to go on, but a little bit nervous, not gonna lie. So I've just done my photo shoot. I was hoping to get some on film, but um, I wasn't able to, but yeah, I can't believe how nervous I was. So we've just, so we've just done our videos and now the dominoes. Can you tell I get really awkward so when anyone's around I literally just stop filming, I like to shut down. Shut down. Um, so yeah, just done my video and um, that was really fun. I actually preferred the video part than the photographing which is a bit strange. Now we're just having some lunch and then I've got to do like an interview as well. Just had my hair and makeup redone, and I'm, we're now waiting for the final group shot. So the day's almost over. I think it's about half four. Might be, might be four actually. But oh, it's been such, yeah, it's been such a good day. They've got such a diverse group of people, different ages, race. Just it's been really, really incredible to watch everyone as well. How how nervous everyone is before like going onto the set and then once you get into it everyone just relaxes a little bit and it's really nice to see um, so yeah just waiting around for the last shoot with everyone all together so if you want to see what the photos do look like go onto my instagram i'll be putting it all on there or of course head over to fig leaves and this robe and everything else that i've worn today will be in the description box below as always Yesterday was so lovely. I never got to film towards the end of the day because I was just literally um, I was in such a rush to get home. I just didn't even get the camera out and I was so tired as well because it just involved a lot of like waiting around, standing around and then coming home on the tube. I was stood up the whole time, which was like 35 minutes. My back was so sore when I got home. I'm so glad I don't work in London because it's just a nightmare. To use the belly. I know, nobody said, and I'm not the type of person to be like, can you let me sit down please? Um, so I just yeah, stood there and didn't didn't mind. Normally it doesn't bother me, but my back was actually really sore. Um, we are now, it's Friday now, and Adam called me, he was like in, in the office, and he was like, should we do something? Got a bit bored, didn't you? So we are now, although it's raining, pouring now, um, we've got to do another campaign for Vitabiotics and um, I said oh maybe like a moody beach shot because it's quite miserable at the moment the weather um, on the beach so we were going to go get some fish and chips and then do that but it's literally just started raining oh and it's yeah, pain in the bum but I'm going to show you a little behind the scenes hopefully if, if the rain does stop I'll um, prop the camera up and show you a little behind the scenes but we might have to be super duper quick. I don't even know if I'm going to have time.
been really terrible vlogging this week, but um, we are just off out. Rachel has come to pick up Pollyanna, and we're just off out for dinner and drinks with friends. It's folk week, and normally me and Adam would have been out every single night, but um, yeah, he's had more nights than me, though, to be fair. He, he's gone out for lunch in the day, and he's experienced it a little bit. I've kind of taken Pollyanna down. Yeah, more than me, two more times than me. Poor me, <laughs> he's going, poor you. It is, I miss, I miss that sometimes. Still We're gonna now. Um, anyway, I wanted to show you what I was wearing because this just arrived today. Um, I didn't realize it was coming today. So ASOS had sent some bits for me and it's all maternity. So this shirt I'm wearing, let me show you the full outfit. And I wouldn't normally, I don't know, it's not really, it's not too, the top's very much me, but the trousers are like a vinyl wet trouser. And I wouldn't normally go for these, but I actually saw them on a blogger called The Fashion Bug Blog, and she wore them throughout her pregnancy. And, um, yeah, I really liked it. So anyway, top is ASOS. Adam's waiting, he's got the door open. Maternity as well. I put this belt on, this belt is next. The bag was a vintage find, and then the vinyl leggings, which cover all the way up to the bump and then with Ryan and court shoes so this is my look for tonight i won't be vlogging tonight but i just wanted to show you my little look because i never ever show you our going out look so yeah what can you see pollyanna what can you see what does it do what does he do <sighs> good girl he goes Rah. Saturday today, last night was really nice. It was nice to just go out for a meal for the first time in ages without having to worry or stress about like a child, like keeping them entertained or, yeah, it was just really lovely. We were home by I think half 10 and we got a lie in till about just gone nine. So it was really nice. Today we are off to Port Lim Zoo. So we have a year pass for both Port Lim and Howlett's. Um, Pollyanna absolutely loves the zoo. She's obsessed with animals and every time we come, she really, really enjoys it. They've just had, so their lions have just had cubs a few months ago now, I think. It was like two or three months ago now. So we're hoping to see some of the little baby cubs, but they have giraffes here as well. So that's why we came to Portland this time. It's a little bit further than Howlett's for us, but the animals are really different. They've also got, you can see, you can stay here. And they've got this new enclosure where you can stay with the lions. And one of the rooms, it's a bathtub, right with the lions. I would love, love, love to do that. Also got on the leggings that I wore last night, just because they were so, so, so comfy. Can you see him, Pollyanna? You say bye bye? Say bye bye. Are you buying kisses? Oh, that's nice. Bye bye, baboons. Hello to you. Hello. She's saying, Come here, look. She's going, Come here, like she does to Blue. <laughs> She's talking to them like a cat as well, going. Are you telling them to stop fighting? Out! Oh, I think that's just what they do, baby. Out! Out! Oh, they'll be okay. They'll make up soon. Uh. They're probably fighting over food. Uh. Yeah, that's probably all they ever fight over. Uh. Don't! Don't. <laughs> I've never heard, heard her say don't. Uh, they'll be okay. Can you see them on the climbing frames? <laughs> they like climbing on the climbing frames. <laughs> These ones are so cute. They're all having a little sleep together. Can you see them? Oh. That's it. Look, they're coming because you're talking to them. <gasps> He's coming. He's, look, keep talking to him, Pollyanna. Keep talking to him. Oh my God. Hello. 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 H
Hello, look, oh my god, he actually came over. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, little monkey. Hiya. Galliana, talk monkey to him. Uh. <laughs> that gibbon that we just saw was amazing. He was so human like he was so yeah I think he'll be like my favorite thing of the day he was like putting his arm out and his hand and like being all all human oh look at these should we go down this way being all gibbon like being all gibbon like yeah I forgot how much of um a trek there was though Pollyanna he's really watching right, you Pauliana. oh my god he's making funny sounds <gasps> hear him he's hissing you gonna take this off she wants to get out, so we're going right. to let her out. Put the reins on her so we can stop her from falling over, hopefully. <laughs> She's so crazy. <laughs> She's free. Oh my. Juliana, Daddy's filming. He's not taking a photo. Always want the camera now. <laughs> what animals can you see? Oh. So this one I've not seen before. This is the wallaby, but it's like a big giant rabbit. Well, Leanne, you do it. watched the gorilla well we watched as much as we could Pollyanna was getting a bit restless um, but yeah I always say we've come to the zoo but I do forget to say it's actually not a zoo because um, it's more of a foundation because they release the animals back into the wild so the gorillas that we've just seen they have released the ones that they have released they've actually had up to 30 babies so in a part of the in the part where they had put them back it was actually gorillas were extinct and now they're there's like 30 plus of them running around so um, that's one thing that we love about the Aspinall Foundations which is here and Howlett is that they breed they breed like animals that are going to become extinct and their aim is to get them back into the wild not to keep them in cages or here in the zoo so that's why the proceeds and stuff goes to helping getting the species back out into the wild, which I really like. Can you see them? Yeah, Josh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now he's swinging. Look. He runs safari. What's been your favorite animal today, Pollyanna? The gorilla? Or well, the monkey. The monkey was my favourite, that little gibbon.
Pollyanna, what does a giraffe do? <laughs> Good girl. Wow. Oh my goodness. So it's half past six. So we spent almost six hours at the zoo today. I am so tired. So Portland is so hilly as well. I'm absolutely cream crackered. Um, it was such a nice day. We always love going there. I think we, so we got annual passes and I think we've been four or five times. So we've definitely made the most out of them. But um, Adam actually has looked at um, the experiences. So you can pay extra to feed the gorillas or go and feed the giraffes. Um, I was expecting them to be really expensive, like around 250, but it's 75 pounds to feed the giraffes and 45 pounds to feed the gorillas. Um, but you have to be 10 or over to do that one. So we wouldn't be able to do that one with the kids. Um, but it's something that we're definitely gonna look into. And also Portland have amazing lodges, which I mentioned at the beginning, like the tiger one. And they've got um, a few others like pods and things. So we definitely want to, want to do something like that with Pollyanna and when the new baby's here. Adam has just taken Blue out for a quick walk because it looks like it's gonna pour down. And then I think tonight we're just gonna have something really easy for dinner, like chips from the chip shop, fish and I really fancy some beans. <laughs> so something really, really simple and easy. Yeah, it's been a very busy few days and I'm really looking forward to like putting my feet up tonight and just chilling with Adam and Pollyanna. She slept all the way in the car. Hi, baby. She slept the whole way home, which was an hour, so she probably won't be going to bed for a few more hours. Pollyanna, come and tell everybody what was your favorite animal that you saw today? Come and tell everyone. What was your favourite animal? What did you see? Giraffes. Yeah, you saw the giraffes. What did the giraffes do? What did they do? And um, what about the gorillas? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You can do it to me. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Gentle though, yes. And um, what about the monkeys? <laughs> no, monkeys are different, remember? <laughs> She loves it so much. Um, and the safari experience, which you do, um, it lasts for an hour. Um, she does get a little bit restless, so we always make sure we've got snacks with us, but I highly, highly recommend anybody going to visit Port Liam or Howlett's because I always call it a zoo, like I said, but it's, it's not. They do so much for the wildlife and Damien, the founder his it was his dad father who found it but he's now in charge like the whole family are so incredible like if you were to look for them on instagram you probably heard about them in the news um damien aspinall is his name he introduced his baby to the gorillas and let, let the gorillas hold his baby and they've all grown up together like all his children have grown up with all the animals and it's like really family orientated and you can just tell that they love animals and i think in this day and age it's so important for things like that especially with things like in thailand like the sanctuaries and well, they're, they're called sanctuaries but obviously they're not um i think having something like that is so important and we love going and hearing about how many more animals they've put back into the wild and it's just really lovely and all the animals you know by name and yeah it's just really really lovely so i'm so pleased that like getting that year pass was like the best thing that we've done um it's i think it runs out in a few months but we'll definitely carry it on because we're going to be going back again in a few weeks but anyway yes i'm going to end today's here and just go get into my pajamas with the babies <laughs> <laughs>